Connecticut's number one local news. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News. And we start off at 4 o'clock with the afternoon rush. It is being called a crisis. 1,300 teaching positions in our state need to be filled. Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Erin Connolly. And I'm Stephanie Simone, plus another 400 social workers and school psychologists. Lawmakers have a plan, but educators say it's not enough. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is live at the state capitol with more on this for us tonight. Susan. That's right. The teacher shortage is a real problem, and that is something that everyone can agree on. How we fix it, that remains to be seen. Now, lawmakers do have a plan. We're told there's about $150 million currently in the state budget. But educators who came here to the Capitol today say that falls short of what's needed. They say the big thing are teacher salaries. They say they are too low and that neighboring states pay their teachers more. And because of that, we are losing teachers to those states. We need to do a big effort here in the state of Connecticut. We need to recognize that big problems require big, visible solutions. And a failure to act right here, right now, begs the question of what schools don't open in the fall. Now, while some school districts pay their teachers more, especially when it comes to starting salaries, there are districts that simply cannot afford to pay their teachers more. What's happening as a result of this? We are told that classroom sizes are increasing and some schools are actually dismissing early. Now, coming up on Eyewitness News at 530, we'll take a closer look at the problem. Plus, lawmakers say whatever money is finally approved and given to cities and towns for education, they want more transparency on how that money is spent. We are live at the state capitol in Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.